Yeah, I'm from Oakland, California, man. It's a city that I love and hate at the same time, y'all. <laughs> no, because Oakland get ratchet, man. Especially they be tripping in the heat now. The heat. I was driving my car right in, in the car. Dude, the, a carjacker jacked me. Jacked me. Like, get out your car, pull a gun right now. Get out. I get out the car, get in my car and drive off. I'm walking down the street. You come back five minutes later. Pull, jump out of my car, pull a gun on me again. Man, take your goddamn car. I said, what's going on? He said, your air conditioner don't work, nigga. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you, man, Oakland is ratchet, man. Oakland is ratchet as I don't know what, man. You can get, anybody will rob you in Oakland. Anybody will rob you. Me and my son was walking down the street, and a sister robbed us, man. She had some stilettos on, a nice dress, and a nice blouse, right? And she had a pink ski mask on, right? This is how I knew she was ghetto, because she had her fake eyelashes glued on the outside of her ski mask, right? <laughs> she was like, break yourself, sucker. I was like, please don't kill me, I got kids. She said, fool, I know, we got kids together. <laughs> Like I said, anybody will rob you. I got robbed by a deaf dude. I don't know how to communicate with no deaf dude. I don't know sign language. I don't know nothing. Do you know this dude had the nerve to rob me with a goddamn note? <laughs> he gave me the note. The note said, give me all your shit right now. I noticed something about the note. You got to observe things when you're getting ready to die. So I looked at the note. <laughs> I looked at the note, and the note was written in pencil. So this is, this is my chance to communicate with this dude because he had a pencil behind his ear. So I take the pencil and I erase everything that he had on a piece of paper, right? And I write what I needed to write to him. I hand it back to him. He opened it up and said, please don't kill me. I got to provide for my family. You know he going to get mad, snatch the goddamn pencil back, erase everything that I had on a piece of paper. <laughs> wrote what he needed to write to me, hand it back to him. I opened it up and read it and said, nigga, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> talking about <laughs> I've been flying a lot now that I'm traveling traveling doing uh, comedy man and uh, don't get on that goddamn spirit airplane <laughs> don't get on spirit I, I bought the cheapest ticket and that's what I get y'all I bought spirit I had the only seat that was backwards <laughs> I'm like I got some peanuts <laughs> Some bullshit. Then I'm sick of these ratchet chicks, man. These ratchet ch chicks, I use the term bitch as a term of endearment. They, they, anybody that you call their friends, or anybody a bitch, uh, you ratchet. That's your that's definition of ratchet. I will, I mean, I, I'm telling you, the ratchet chicks will, will greet them. They never call each other by their mate name. They walk up to the, to the happy birthday, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, she, and, and, and the girl that accepted, she would, she do, ratchet chicks dance when they accept, when they're happy. They, they, look, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> she'll be like, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. But I went on a date with a ratchet chick. They use that word all the time, man. They use it all the time, you guys. Oh, my God. I, I, we going to one of the ratchet places in Oakland, the McDonald's on 73rd MacArthur. <laughs> she drive, we drive up. She rolled the window down. The man said, may I take your order? She says, yes. Can a bitch get a number two? <laughs> bitch won't hot fries. <laughs> bitch don't want no mayonnaise. <laughs> bitch won't large Sprite. He said, would that complete your order, bitch? <laughs> She looked at me and said, you gonna let him talk to me like that? I said, bitch, don't put me in this. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard, you know. You know, I'm doing comedy. And um, my wife, she just, she just, I'm doing comedy, I'm doing, I'm doing my thing. And my wife just lost her job. So I had to take a second job. I had to take a, take a, take a second job. So I'm like, oh, man, you know, you got to take whatever you can take before these high-ass prices, you know. So when I, w I went to a temp agency, do you know they made me a mannequin in rainbows? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was the only dude in rainbows like this, y'all. Oh, man. I was so goddamn mad. I stood like this for eight hours in rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comedian Mario Hodge, man. Thank y'all for having me, man.